city where so much attention is paid to the water, there is a history that surrounds Duluth, Minnesota that can still be heard. Well, it's what built this country. It's what brought America together. At the Lake Superior Railroad Museum inside Duluth's Union Depot, that history is still alive. A place for people to visit and learn about the way this mode of transportation changed life for all of us. It used to be that you grew up, you lived, you worked, you raised a family, and you died, rarely traveling 25 miles from your own home. You knew nothing about what was going on. But as soon as the railroads came, now you could travel clear across the country. You met everybody on the railroads. The rich traveled and the poorest traveled all on the same train. They didn't always have the same accommodations, mind you, but they were all on the same train, which meant they all had to use the same depot. Ken Bueller is the executive director of the museum. The collection of railroad equipment is considered to be among the best in all of the Midwest and the importance of certain pieces to this state would be impossible to ignore. We're, we're standing by a really significant piece of Minnesota history. This is probably the most significant piece of railroad history in all of Minnesota because it was the very first steam locomotive to ever be in the state of Minnesota. It was brought up the Mississippi River on a barge and used on the St. Paul and Pacific Railroad, which went from then St. Anthony, which is now Minneapolis, to St. Paul. And the man who built it was called the Empire Builder. And that is what you're standing next to, is the very first engine owned by James J. Hill of the Great Northern Railway. Just a little known name. In Just, yeah, not, yeah, not too many people yeah. really. <laughs> it's the guy, he's got that little place on Summit, I believe it is. <laughs> Around that same time, another name was becoming well known in Northern Minnesota. And it was their, if you want to think about it, it was their family's own private car. Probably like a Winnebago would be today. You call this the gem of the collection? This is the car that the Merritt family had. The Merritts were the seven iron men who discovered the ore on Minnesota's Mesabi Iron Range. And this was their private car on their Duluth and Northern Minnesota line. The private car was built in 1893, the same year the Merritt family lost their fortune in the devastating economic depression. It was really the peak of their power and influence, and they lost it all in the Panic of 1893. Well, the car has come back to its home here at the uh, Duluth Museum. Volunteers spent 15 years working to restore the train car back to its original beauty. Four coats of white paint once covered intricate detail and craftsmanship that a certain volunteer vowed to uncover. Mr. McDonald would come in two or three days a week and using paint remover and a toothbrush, he would literally work like this and maybe in a day he would get about that much done, and he did all the way down that hallway. So no wonder it took 15 years. That's why it took 15 years. This car also became the backdrop for a special moment not so long ago, when some big Hollywood stars paid a visit. And Renee Zellweger stood right there, George Clooney stood right here, and we brought them both in, and the place went nuts. And I'll tell you, the two of them could not have been nicer, more accommodating. Duluth had a lot of fun that day. The Depot hosted the actors in 2008 as they promoted their movie Leatherheads, a story about a football team from Duluth. This is how you got a message from one side of the country to the other before the internet. You would do it in a railway post office car or an RPO car. And what happens is these were on every train and they actually would sort the mail as the train would be moving. Whether it was a mail delivery or meeting a relative from states away, the museum still hears from visitors who tell their train stories. A time in Duluth's history full of promise. Railroads and ports were moving lumber, wheat, and mining materials all across the country. This is what you would see on Main Street in Duluth. All these stores that you're passing by here on Depot Square are replicas of actual buildings and businesses that existed in Duluth at the turn of the century. And so we've turned part of the depot into an old downtown. There's a lot for families to see and do here. There's a whole bunch. There's, like I say, three museums, two art galleries, the Railroad Museum, and the North Shore City. Railroad, which is an excursion line that runs up the north shore of Lake Superior between Duluth and Two Harbors. In the summer months, trains depart the Union Depot, winding through Duluth's downtown, the shores of Lake Superior, and deep into the Northwoods. 
and two weekends a year, Thomas the Tank pulls in for kids to take a ride. Do you think every man kind of has a little bit of little boy still left <laughs> in them? I just see that there's a lot of men walking around and they seem fascinated by these trains still to this day. I think you're right. Uh, and I guess one of the reasons is trains seem invincible. They're big, they're powerful, they're commanding. And uh, obviously, I think uh, we like to think of ourselves that way. But even in the midst of all that once was, there is a sense of what these tracks will mean to the future. Is it, is it interesting for you to see nowadays, it seems like we're kind of going back to this mode of transportation that helps to connect our country. Well, let's just look in the Twin Cities. You just opened the Central Corridor. Uh, North Star is rapidly increasing its ridership. We're working on the Northern Lights Express project, which is an effort to resume rail passenger service between Duluth and Minneapolis, linking into the system that's already being built in the Twin Cities. They're talking about going to Rochester, adding another train between uh, Minneapolis and uh, Chicago. All this is rapidly growing. Looking to the future, learning from the past. Just another day at Duluth's Union Depot. Life to the Max is brought to you by Life Touch. Photography for a lifetime.